Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1185. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1180, we're talking about a frequency distribution. Here are our values. Here's the number of times each value occurs. And we saw formulas for calculating the mean, the median, and the mode. Now, someone left a comment and I responded back, right, doing mean, median, and mode without doing standard deviation is kind of like leaving the mean hanging. Because usually if you have the mean, you need to know how reliable it is using the standard deviation calculation. Now, back in statistical analysis video 32, we used this formula. But in this formula, we had the probability or the relative frequency. So if we're going to go straight from a frequency distribution and it doesn't have that extra column that calculates 10 divided by whatever the total count is, 5 divided by whatever the total count is, then we can use this formula. Now really, it's easy enough to just add a column, but we'll simulate that in our formula. Now here's the formula. This is for variance. If you take the square root of variance, you get standard deviation. So we'll use the base formula here, and then take the square root. So I'm going to say equals sum product. And in parentheses for array 1, I'm going to say, please give me all the values. And from each one of those, please subtract the mean. Close parentheses. Then we need to square it. This is if we do standard deviation longhand. These are like deviations. And then we square them. That's that part right there. Instead of multiplying, we do comma. We'll take advantage of the fact that some product multiplies two different arrays. This is an array calculation. In fact, if you highlight the inside part of it and hit F9, you see it gets the difference between each one of these values and the mean, Control-Z. We then square it. F9. You can see it gives us our squared values, Control Z. That's just a little trick. F9, Control Z see, to see how the formula is calculating. But notice they're doing array operations. And so when we evaluate it, it spits out multiple answers. Now we need to simulate the entire column of relative frequencies or probabilities. So we highlight the whole column. And then divide by what? The sum. These are the frequencies. If we add up all the frequencies, we get the total count from the original data set. So there we go. Now we get each individual item boop, 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 divided by the total. If we highlight this and hit F9, we see we get exactly nine values. So 10 divided by the total is 0.1888. 5 divided by the total is 0 0.09 etc. Control Z. So now the sum product will multiply both of those, those resultant arrays and then add. So when I hit Enter, that gives us variance. That's that calculation right there. F2, we simply need to take the square root. So I'll say square root function. And then come to the end, close parentheses, and Enter. There is your standard deviation from a frequency distribution. All right, we'll see you next trick.